In this demo, I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can use Dragon Naturally Speaking 12 to navigate and also how to fix problems if it types the wrong thing. So, as you can see, I'm right now looking at one window. I have uh, Dragon Naturally Speaking already on or opened and um, the microphone not turned on. So I will click that to turn it on and then I won't be talking to you, I'll be talking to Dragon Naturally Speaking and we'll try some uh, moving around from one window to another. Here's what that looks like. Switch to Microsoft Word. Stop listening. There you go. So you can see that it recognizes certain phrases as not being something you want to type but most likely being a command. Okay, so let's start it back up again and we'll type a phrase or two that I think it might misunderstand based on my experience with the program. Wake up. Now, comma, whatever I say, comma, it will type, period. It's working, exclamation mark. How cool is that, question mark, smiley face. New paragraph. Now, comma, let's give it a challenge, period. To make it make a mistake, comma, I may have to speak a little faster or a little less clear, comma, or I'll pick a phrase that it's likely to make a mistake on, period. Oh look, Dash, it just created an example for me. Here's how we will fix that, period. Insert after for me, period. Move to end of line. Stop listening. So you can see there's one change you can make. You can tell the cursor where you want it to go and it'll end up there just by saying after this word or before that word. Now obviously we have a problem. I didn't mean oral pickup phrase. In fact, I don't even, don't even remember what I said, so watch this. Wake up. Select oral pickup phrase. Play that back. Or I'll pick a phrase that it... Stop listening. So there you see is another example. You can ask it to repeat what you said, which is really handy if you cannot discern <laughs> from oral pickup phrase, for example, what I actually said. So let's see if we can fix that. One way to fix it is you simply select it like I just did, select oral pickup phrase, and you simply rephrase it. That works, but it doesn't teach the program to understand you better. So what we'll do instead is this. Wake up. Correct oral pickup phrase. Spell that. Space A. space cap I apostrophe LL click OK stop listening there you can see you simply say OK and there you go or if it if it suggested what it thought you meant and one of the suggestions work you can just say pick one or pick two which if it was the first or second suggestion it made let's try something else a new mistake let's see if we can make it make wake up move to end of paragraph New line. It's cold up here. Period. Stop listening. There's a good example of where the program is imperfect. Even though I did not say up here very clearly, you knew I said up here because that's that's the phrase that I used. It's cold up here. You know it wouldn't be cold up here. Sometimes voice recognition is not as smart at understanding context. And we'll type up here. For example, here, let's fix this. Wake up. Correct cold up here. Spell that. U P space H E R E. Choose one. New paragraph. Move up one line. Let's give it a new challenge. Period. It often has trouble with names comma, especially less common names, period. It would probably correctly get Gerard or Marilyn, period. C, question mark, no problem, period. Here, however, is a name I know it's had problem with. Delete last two words. Problems with, in the past, ellipsis. Please give this to Tamara, period. Okay, you can see it got it wrong. Let's fix that, period. Correct this to camera. 
choose four. Stop listening. Okay, that time it gave you a selection list and Tamara was one of them in the list, so I was able to fix it that way. Uh, let's try something different. I'll show you how you can make something become capitalized when it may not have understood it to be capitalized when you originally spoke it. Wake up, new line, let's go shopping at General Toys, period. Select General Toys, cap that, move to end of line, stop listening. All right, there you go. So you've seen it do several things. You can use it to navigate from one program to another. You can fix mistakes that it makes um, by telling it you want it to be corrected. You can select text by saying select text and then decide to make it capital.